tibial profound fracture classifications. The pylon fracture have two classifications commonly used. The Rudy Algauer classification, it's an old classification. The second one is the AO OTA classification. The Rudy Algauer classification are three types. Type 1, no significant joint incongruity. There is a cleavage fracture with no displacement of the fractured fragments. Type 2 is significant articular incongruity and there is minimal metaphysial comminution or impaction. Type 3, there is significant articular comminution and metaphysial impaction. That's a bad injury. How about the AO OTA classification? You will find three types extra articular fracture, partial articular, or complete articular. I don't think you can go wrong with classifying any fracture that involves a joint as an extra articular fracture, partial articular, or complete articular. This extra articular fracture is divided into a simple fracture, metaphysial wedge fracture, or complex metaphysial fracture. All these extra articular fractures are named A. It can be A1, A2, or A3 as you advance the complexity of the fracture. Now the second type is called partial articular and it's called B fracture. It can be B1, which is pure split, or B2, split depression, so the spination adduction fracture of the ankle will have a vertical fracture of the medial malleolus. The anteromedial portion of the plafond may also be impacted, so that looks like a split depression fracture. That can be a B2 injury. That's why that fracture shows up in classic orthopedic examinations because you can miss this depression or impaction. What would you do after fixation of that fracture? You probably need to revise the fixation and make sure you elevate that impaction or the depression and restore the joint congruity before you fix the fracture. And when you fix the fracture, make sure you fix it with a plate or with screws. The screws have to be parallel to the joint to compress that fracture. And the plate will be an anti-glide plate. The B3 fracture and partial articular will be a multi-fragmentary depression fracture. Not a single piece, but multiple pieces. The C fracture is a complete articular. It is distal. So you go from A, extra articular, to B, partial articular, to C, which is complete joint involvement. The pylon fracture C is complete articular, and that can be three types. Articular simple and metaphysial simple, that is C1, Articular simple, metaphysial multifragments, that is C2. And C3 is the bad one, complete articular with multi-joint fragments and multi-metaphysial fragments. That is the C3. It is the most difficult fracture and it probably has the worst prognosis. Classically, there is a typical pylon fracture fragments, and usually there are three main joint fragments. 
The three fragments are the medial malleolus, which is attached to the deltoid ligament. The anterolateral fragment, which is called the chaput fragment, and it is attached to the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. The Volkmann fragment is the posterolateral fragment, and it is attached to the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. This is a diagram representing pylon fracture with the three main fragments. In this CT scan, you can see the three fragments of the pylon fracture, and also you can see the joint impaction. When the fibula is intact, the lateral collateral ligament of the ankle may rupture. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.